it is 10 o'clock and we have the chat box. If you can hear me, we're on a different platform today. Uh, we have been um, really kind of switching some things around here and really uh, trying to get on a different platform. So if you are um, on with me today, if you can type into the Zoom webinar chat and just say good morning and where you are um, calling in from would be great. So I'm actually doing this webinar from the East Coast in State College, Pennsylvania. Um, Edith is on um, as well. And Shar is uh, calling in from Minneapolis on here. Great to uh, have you on here, Shar, today. Um, I know there's a, there's a few others on here. We've got a, a, a number of people that are on the webinar today. And this is our second one. And I am uh, learning all about these webinars. We did a video podcast. We're on a different platform today. So we will see how this goes as we, as we continue to uh, pivot and navigate uh, technology, which is one of my most favorite things. Good morning, Catherine, uh, calling in from uh, Minneapolis. Mary Lynn's calling in from uh, Dudley, Massachusetts. Chris is uh, calling in from Minneapolis as well. And if you people that are joining, if you can just type into the chat box where you're calling in from, my business partner, Coach Amy Cohen, is on here as well. And she will be managing the uh, chat box today. If you have any questions or comments, um, you will hear from uh, Coach Amy Cohen. Before we get started today with uh, um, our topics that we're going to talk about, um, I just want to mention really quickly here, in case I forget um, at the end, that uh, Coach Amy Cohen is a certified executive coach, uh, my business partner, and she will be starting these uh, webinars on Monday and Wednesday next week on how to manage um, your career during this time. So, um, so that's a being proactive and whether it's learning, beefing up your career, uh, people are in transition, whatever that looks like is um, Amy Cohen is an expert. Um, she has been doing career management, career transition coaching for um, over 30 years and has a 100% success rate. So um, she will be starting those on Monday at uh, 10 o'clock Eastern time as well. I will continue on Tuesdays and Thursdays with resilience and well-being uh, for the next few weeks um, as we continue to navigate um, ourselves through everything that we're experiencing, working from home, um, uh, just seeing, turning on the television too much, really during tough times and a period of uncertainty. Um, yesterday, my webinar was around strengthening our own personal resilience and our mental wellness during this time. And I just want to review really quickly what that is. Um, because as we continue to navigate, as we continue to navigate um, through these uncertain times and very stressful times, it's important to take care of ourselves first. But as leaders, um, many of us have huge teams, big teams, whether you're managing one person or you're managing 400 people that are below you, there are certain things that you must be doing as a leader um, during this time. So I'm just going to review very quickly. People have been reaching out to me. Um, where's the video? I want to watch it. I missed it. I couldn't log on. Different things like that. And like I said, we're still trying to navigate um, and edit some of these videos, get them on YouTube channels, um, just so people can go back and actually watch um, some, of these, um, some of these videos if you've missed them. So yesterday, just really talking about ourself and our individual resilience, just uh, going, just going over this very quickly is we can only control the things that we can control as individuals. And we can't control everything that's going on in our world other than all of the things that we've heard over and over and over again, as far as um, you know, just our personal hygiene and those things. But it's also our mindset is being able to master our own mindset as individuals and you know, control, focusing, mastering our mindset around controlling the things that we have control. And that is our attitude around ourselves um, an attitude around the people that we are around, whether it's our families, our community, and our teams. Um, the other thing is just really getting comfortable being uncomfortable. We are all extremely uncomfortable right now. And, you know, if things were back to, quote, normal, 
we should be getting ourselves uncomfortable every day because that's how we develop. That's how we learn. Those were our, <clears throat> most of our opportunities. So continue learning about ourselves, being present and really, you know, recognizing some of those emotions that are coming up and journaling about those as we really can get to know ourselves um, during this time. Um, so really be present with our emotions, be present with our feelings, be present with our families and really learn a lot about yourself is the things that make me stressed out, the things that make me irritated, the things that make me happy, the things that make me sad. Why am I feeling this way? And so really be present. The second one is just really staying positive and we need to stay positive. 80% of what we do is between our ears and it's our mindset and mastering our mindset and re rewiring how we think in our brains is, you know, we're all going to get through this. We're all, we're all going to get through this. It's just, you know, we've got to go through the fire. We have to go through the jungle before we can get to the other side. And so just really having that power of positivity, um, you know, through this whole thing for yourself and also for your teams and your family. Um, the third thing that we talked about was just really that optimism and really how can you develop and strengthen that optimism. We, we talked about a gratitude jar. Um, some of you that have already implemented this, if you want to type it in the chat box, here and talk about some things that you implemented yesterday. Um, I had a number of people that reached out on LinkedIn and, and emailed me on the things that they've implemented with their families or their teams um, through optimism as well. So if you can throw those in the chat box, that would be great. Um, stay connected, really stay connected with your people, with your teams is really, really important and critical during this time is the really that connectedness. We don't have that connectedness um, we're going to talk a little bit about that um, when we talk about teams, but we're the, the, the isolation, the feeling of loneliness. Some of us have been only working in our homes like this is the fourth day. Um, I talked to a number of my clients and their teams yesterday, and they're like, we're doing okay. I've got, you know, but this is only the third day um, yesterday. So that feeling of isolation and loneliness. So figure out how you can stay connected to people at work, your friends, get on Zoom, get on FaceTime. But it's really, really important uh, to be able to do that. On um, that social responsibility just really um, makes all of us feel better if we're able to give back or help a neighbor or help um, you know, feed some of the kids that are not getting meals right now. So figure out what you can do to help um, you know, people during this time. Um, and then just continue to learn and grow during this time. There's so, we have a chunk of time here where we're at home. We can take a little break, um, do some reading, reading some articles. Um, Harvard Business Review has a lot of great articles. Read your favorite books. Um, listen to a lot of webinars. Um, get a mentor. Um, what can you do to continue learning and growing and staying creative uh, during this time as well? So right now I want to talk about teams and I want to spend a little time and have a little quick team huddle here on how we can keep our teams um, motivated and inspired, um, you know, during, during this time. And, you know, I talked a little bit about yesterday. I have uh, an extensive, um, extensive experience working with teams, um, elite athletes, whether high performers, underperformers. Um, but as a college basketball coach for 30 years and now working with executive teams and so forth, it's, you know, how, how do we keep your teams motivated and inspired during times of, of, of uncertainty and really difficult times? And, um, you know, continue typing. If you're just joining us, I really encourage you to, you know, type where you're, type your name in the chat box and where you're calling in from. We've got a number of people, we've got a good attendance um, on here today. Um, would love to hear where you're calling in from. So, you know, as we, as, as, as we go through periods like this, we, as I mentioned yesterday, you know, with teams and you are a leader of a team, leader of a household, that you are experiencing things that you never thought you experienced before. And no one ever gave you a manual that you didn't read it in a book, um, books and podcasts and learning from this, but you have to be in the fire and being able to have grace under fire as a leader. Um, I'm sure many of your teams are experiencing um, a lot of fear, a lot of uncertainty, a lot of questions, 
um, you know, you know, what, what is, what, you know, when is this going to stop? What's next? Um, what do I do? And that's just, you know, how our brain works. That's a fight or flight mentality. And as a leader, we've got to be able to show up and lead um, with, with grace under fire. And um, which, is, uh, which is one of the most important things is we have to be calm. We have to be extremely calm during this time as leaders. And sometimes it can be very, very difficult because you have to show up even keel, calm, collected, keep, uh, cool as a cucumber. And then when you can go close your door, and you get off of your team meetings, you know, it's, you know, then you can go cry in the pillow or close your door and just have a moment. But when you are with your team, you have got to be able to connect and just be that positive force for them. So number one with your team, um, just really strengthening, you know, th that resilience is a top, you know, is, is basically is, is on top of a foundation of confidence, courage, and strength which is so critical. Confidence, courage, and strength is all part of, of is the foundation of, of resilience. Um, Devin's calling in from Texas. Great to have you back on. Amy is calling in from uh, San Antonio. Uh, Gabby's calling in from uh, Central Pennsylvania. Um, Lisa is calling in from Minnesota. Um, we've got somebody from Baltimore, Maryland on here as well. So welcome to, um, welcome to our webinar today. So I'm gonna give you some, some really helpful tips. I'm actually seeing a lot of teams that are really um, managing a lot of crisis around me. And I would say number one as a leader on how you keep your teams inspired, motivated during this time is number one as a leader is talk to them about embracing this opportunity. So I'd say number one is to really embrace the moment and be present. So embrace the moment and what this presents to your team. You know, what are those opportunities? What, are, what is that legacy that we can leave this organization? What is that legacy and the mark that we wanna leave, you know, on our team or for others? So I would say number one is talk to your teams about embracing and what this whole opportunity presents to us. It presents us learning new skills, tools, opportunities, we're, we're getting out of our comfort zone. And you know those are the biggest times of growth and really taking our resilience to the next level. So embrace it. I say number two is probably one of the most important thing is really establishing some cadence um, in communication with your team. Now I have talked to leaders that are meeting with their teams every single day. They're having a team huddle and connecting um, the same exact time every day, whether it's 7.30 a.m., the entire team is getting on and um, having a team meeting, or 10 o'clock a.m. that they are getting on with their teams. If you have a number of different teams, stagger them out, especially during this time. You should be touching base with your team every single day. And I, I tell you right now, that is not overkill. It is not... Um, you know, communication is, is the most important thing because everybody on your team is experiencing uncertainty and fear. So connect with your teams every single day and require them to be, you know, on here so you can actually see their faces. People, people can't call in, people can't block their faces, and this is a great way to stay connected so you can see people's faces. And that's what you should be working towards. So stay connected. Once you get connected, the third thing is once you get connected on the call, I would really um, encourage you not to immediate, immediately talk about work and doing your little round tables or check-ins or roll calls is really, this is a time for leaders is to be human, is to be exceedingly human. And the empathy and concern and the compassion that you can show your team during this time is take some time to listen um, about what they are experiencing. And, you know, it, everybody's experiencing different things. This is not just listening them to professionally what they're experiencing with their jobs, um, but socially. So listen, ask them questions, 
Also share as a leader, share your vulnerability. And this is a great way to really, you know, take your vulnerability to the next level. I really truly believe vulnerability is power. And that way your people can see that you actually really can relate to them and they can relate to you because you are experiencing different things. Everybody's experiencing different things, whether it's themselves, their spouses, their kids, um, their parents, um, your grandparents. And really this is a time to connect as a team to take a few minutes to actually just be human during this time. We are in a, um, you know, we're all in uncharted waters through, um, through home, work, and everything that we're doing differently. Um, the other thing that you do with your team when you're on these calls is just share some wins, some really small wins um, that, are, that are also social. Hey, we learned how to, my kid learned how to cook today, or um, we got to spend so much more time as a family, or hey, I learned how to, um, you know, have a set up a team meeting where, where we have a Zoom call. Um, you know, there's so many different things that you can share. I have a friend that's uh, stuck out in San Francisco and they are spending a, a lot of time FaceTiming friends, playing, playing games, playing board games, different kinds of games. Um, but just really that connectedness is, is so important. So number one is really, you know, embrace the moment and what it presents to your team. And that's how you should be talking just really positively. Um, the second thing is really create a cadence around communication with your team. And I would say every single day you should be connecting with your teams. I spoke to one leader yesterday that has been connecting with multiple levels, whether it's a leadership team, um, then the management team, and then that next level down, that middle management. Every single day they get on a conference call, they get on Zoom, and they just started Zoom calls where they're actually connecting Everybody on there has a chance to share what they're feeling, um, add there's lots of questions right now, and really establish that cadence is important. I also talked to another leader yesterday that since all this uncertainty and chaos has started to happen, have communicated with their teams one time. And there's probably some people on this call that has experienced the same thing, that is not enough. Your people are experiencing so many different things and fears and anxious, and they're going to spread their anxiousness around to their teams on down. So get on the horn, get on Zoom calls with your teams, um, you know, every single day until, until we get to the other side of this. And then you can lighten, lighten it up where it's every other day starting next week or the week after if you have, haven't started this cadence. The third thing is be, being able to um, you know, support your people, be human, empathy, compassion, and, um, you know, that concern as well. Um, we have Stephanie joining us from Chicago. Um, it's a lot, a lot of great comments in the chat box. The fourth one is share some small wins with your team, um, whether it's you have a win, encourage people to talk, um, be positive with your team. And, you know, those are some of the most important things. Um, also just really just encouraging your, your team, um, extra love, extra communication, make yourself available by email, by text, respond to people. Um, and really, you know, I would say the fifth thing is really to control your own emotions is really to make sure that you are leading with grace um, through this and this entire experience. The last thing I want to share on, uh, on what we, um, as leaders, what we should not be doing, and I really want to discourage, or we should avoid this as, as leaders is, and I would love to hear some people's comments in the chat box when I talk about this is yes, we need to continue, um, performing, People need to continue performing their jobs and, and growing, but this really is not business as usual. And I think that just takes a very cold approach to your teams, um, very distant, very cold, that is not really business as usual. And so I would really discourage, discourage that. Um, do not be inconsistent as a leader. Don't be absent as a leader. Don't sit in your, well, you can't sit in your office anymore. People are not supposed to be in their offices as everybody's working from home. 
where you are not communicating. So I really discourage and avoid um, the whole business as usual mindset, um, being inconsistent as a leader, and also um, being absent. You've got to be out front in this. You've got to be the cheerleader. You have to be the one that is leading and directing that calm, cool, um, positive resource. You, there's a reason you're sitting in that table or in that chair, and um, people are looking to you to get that confidence, to get that reassurance. And, um, uh, you know, especially now more than ever, ever before. So people are looking to you to be, to be that leader. Does anybody have any questions? I, you know, those, those five things are really, really important uh, during this time to, is to really motivate and um, really inspire your team. The other thing that you could do is that this is a great time to be creative. This is a great time to be innovative, coming up with new ways to work together, um, new different products to develop is, you know, have an innovative brainstorming session with your team to take their minds off of things is this is a great time to be creative, um, a great time to do some things differently, ask them for their ideas and their, their opinions as well. So um, keep your teams uh, motivated and inspired. Um, everyone on here um, are, are leaders and, and the most important thing, number one, take care of yourself and then you need to take care of your team and of course everybody's home taking their, care of their families. So I'm gonna go through these one more time. Um, you know, some people may have missed some of these things. Number one is embrace the moment and what it presents. Talk to your teams about embracing this moment and talk to them about what it uh, presents. Um, number two is to establish some cadence around communication and you know, extra, extra, extra communication. You know, there's so much fear, there's so much uncertainty, there's so many questions. Um, no one's ever been in these situations before. Um, you should be meeting with your teams on Zoom video so you can see their faces every single day at the same time, whether it's 15 minutes, 10 minutes, half an hour, but giving people that time to really, um, to really um, connect. That connectedness um, is really, really important. Um, the third thing is while you're on while you're on the, the calls with your team is really support them and be human. Empathy, compassion, um, you know, concern. Um, really ask people what they're experiencing, not professionally, but socially um, is really gonna be important. Listen, um, share your own vulnerability as a leader um, so they can actually see that you can relate to them and that they're not alone, which is really important. The fourth thing is really celebrating those small wins right now. Those wins that really um, can be very positive for your team. Um, you know, do some virtual high fives or, or uh, celebrate some way. Um, is really celebrate some of those wins with your team um, and, uh, and also be creative. Uh, the fifth thing is, is really what not to do is, is discouraging you to be an inconsistent leader um, kind of the business usual mindset where you're still driving, driving, driving performance. Yes, you're, there's still a lot of expectations out there. Um, and don't be absent as a leader. You need to be around more than ever before. Um, so if you're only having one, if you only had one meeting with your team, um, it's not enough um, because you don't know how, what they're communicating to their teams. But get on the horn, get on Zoom, see their faces and actually connect. So um, good luck with your teams. Um, you know, it's not a time to hold back, you know, try some new things that I said. Um, you know, some, some teams, um, this is the first time that they've used Zoom and they're connecting um, on video. So it really allows people to talk, you know, not just about their work, but what they're experiencing what, with what they're, what they're dealing with as well. So you know, in six months, you know, from now that, you know, we're going to, we're going to look back and, and be glad that we did a lot of these things with our teams. It's going to show that we have created um, great, better communication um, lines, better communication cadence, better relationships um, with you as a leader and your team. You, you're, you're going to have developed more resilience. 
you're going to be able to look back at this experience and say, my gosh, we got through that. We can get through anything now. And being able to pull back these experiences once we get through this is going to be really, really important. Um, another thing that you could share with your team as well is have somebody talk about a time in their life in the past that they've had to pull confidence, courage, and strength uh, from this resilience and you know what that took and how they felt and how they got through it and hey, we're here now, we got, we got through that. So um, good luck with your teams. Um, any questions, uh, put those in your chat box, put those in the chat box right now and, and um, um, we can, uh, I can answer those. But I wanna share one last story with you before I let you go uh, today is I have a um, physician client and I reached out to some of my clients yesterday and I said, if you would like me to spend 15 minutes with your teams today, I can hop on a Zoom call and have a little team huddle. Like we can call a timeout in the middle of the day and we call the timeout in the middle of a, it was a physician's, uh, um, it was a physician scientist and her research team. And they are now, as of yesterday, um, they put a lot of their projects on the side and they are part of this, this US team and US expert in helping um, physicians find a cure for uh, the coronavirus. And so that was something that we were able to celebrate with their team as they were able to put 80% of what they were focused on before and now they are diving in as this research team together. Um, I spent 15 minutes with um, this research team that is supporting the doctors that are trying to find a cure and gave them a little pep talk um, as far as staying together and really what this is doing for, for them and their team. But everyone has a chance to leave a legacy. Everyone has a chance to leave a mark and to become a better leader for your teams um, through this time. But keep people motivated, keep people inspired. Um, you know, this is, this is the, a defining moment um, for us as leaders to be able to make that difference and impact in your people and your team's lives, not just professionally, um, but socially as well. So I wanna thank everybody for, for joining uh, me today. Um, those of you that joined late here today um, as well. Um, that for those of you that joined late today that we will be starting on Monday and Wednesday next week with my uh, business partner, Coach Amy Cohen. Um, she will be um, talking about uh, managing your career during times of uncertainty. So if you need this, um, your friends need this, um, your spouse needs this, you know, join uh, Amy Cohen as an expert and has been doing this for over 30 years with 100% success rate. Um, and I will be continuing to do resilience and um, well-being through, through the next few weeks here, which is going to be really, really important. Um, I do have a question here from um, Devin. Um, the question is, if we have leaders that are disengaged, how can we encourage them to take action <clears throat> and provide a solution for their teams? Well, I, number one, I would, um, that leader, those leaders is really um, talking to them, as I mentioned before, is really being that human, really being supporting them, meeting them where they're at, and really saying, you know, you know what is going on in your life? Um, you know, what is happening. So really meeting them where they're at, not like, hey, you've got to do this and you've got to do this and you got to get engaged. You got to take about 10 steps backwards and meet them where, meeting them where they're at. You know, what are you experiencing? What are you feeling? You know, that compassion and that empathy approach and what can I do to help you? And, you know, talking to them about these are, these are the moments that were tested. These are the moments that our true colors come out. It's easy to be successful. It's easy to win when everything's going well. And, you know, that's, that's easy and anybody can do that. But when times like this come up, it's our true colors come out and that's when we're really tested. And those true um, leaders and the resilience and um, that well-being really comes out. So that's where I would start, Devin. And, um, and then just you know, pri providing a solution for them is giving them some of these key things to talk to them about their teams. Um, if they're feeling that way, they gotta put the poker face on and they cannot um, spread that, um, 
that angst or that fear onto their teams. They have to be, you know, the tougher one. They have to bring the energy. They have to bring the, the positivity. They have to bring, um, you know, the attitude and that work ethic for their teams. And so they, they've got to bring it, you know, that energy every single day. And that's why they're a leader. That is why they're in a leadership position. So being able to pri provide them some, some solutions is going to be really, really important. So um, we will get these on uh, YouTube here. We are in the process. Um, it's not one of my strengths. It's not my wheelhouse. We've got a lot. We have a big team that's helping us get, in, get some of these videos on YouTube so um, that you can all listen to these or replay these back um, for yourself. Um, any more questions? Um, but other than that, everybody have a great day. And again, if you need any support, you need support for your teams, you have questions, uh, reach out to me on LinkedIn. Um, many of you have my emails. I'm on Facebook. I'm all over the place. Um, I am home here for, you know, 